Tonight in Ion Chicago, for more than seven decades, some of the city's brightest students have shown their very best at the Chicago Public Schools Student Science Fair. At this year's exhibition, we met a young man who doesn't just love science, he lives it. And as Marie Saavedra shows us, it's all about helping people in need. His full name is Divine Favor Osuji, but he just goes by Divine. And people who know him say that name really hits the mark. Welcome to the 75th annual Chicago Public Schools Science Fair and Exhibition. I had hypothesized at the Griffin Museum of Science and Industry. Have you seen it? Yep. These young people are exploring just about anything you can think of. It's more of a rectangular prism that is portable from clean eating to sensor fusion and more. I was just interested in things that could be analyzed as evidence in crime scenes. But Divine's project is personal. Growing up, I saw my grandparents suffer with um, a lot of like different health complications. We were like spending all of this um, money on these uh, healthcare uh, like devices, yet it was also putting like a like horrible like I guess, economic debt in our pockets. I just want to ensure that other families out there don't need to go through that same emotional suffering. Today we're working on the, the classified method. So this Lane Tech senior decided to find a way people could monitor their health and not break the bank. I focus was measuring three primary health vitals, which were heart rate, temperature, and uh, blood oxygen levels. The whole point was to try and just get accurate uh, health measuring uh, like vitals while also keeping the cost as small as possible. This is not Divine's first rodeo. For other science fairs, he's created a prosthetic hand connected to a webcam. It's kind of like shadow boxing in a sense where whatever movement you made uh, in front of that camera, the prosthetic would mimic that movement. All of his projects center on his basic belief. Anyone should be able to get adequate like healthcare services and that there shouldn't be a price tag on that. Divine is one of those special kids. Your question is basically... Lucy Young teaches chemistry at Lane Tech and heads the Alpha STEM and Science Departments. She says Divine's determination is amazing. Divine has a very creative energy to him. He sees a problem in the world and just wants to try to fix it. This is just data. Divine says his parents are driving factors for him and his grandfather urged him to think big, even as a little boy. We would have a lot of, I guess, intellectual debates, even though I was kind of five years old. And this is the device here, right? Yes. Intellectual curiosity is what brought Divine and all these other budding scientists together at the fair. It means the world to Carrie Kessner, a teacher at Von Steuben Metro Science Center who helps put it all together. Their thoughtfulness, their professionalism, and it just gives me hope for the future. Like these are our future voters and they're gonna be going out and they're gonna be creating all this stuff and helping make the world a better place. That's definitely Divine's plan. Man, this is over my head. <laughs> we asked him what his superpower is. Ability to, I guess, acknowledge when I'm wrong because then it also gives me time to like improve. I still have a lot to learn. Divine plans to major in biomedical engineering in college. Next year, he'll be a science fair alum, following in the footsteps of others who went on to become engineers, doctors, and teachers. We're told that many of them return to the science fair as judges. I'm Marie Saavedra, CBS News, Chicago. Well, earlier this year, Divine was named 2025 National STEM Champion for developing that cost-effective prosthetic hand we told you mm, about. Great to see that energy and excitement about learning.